Imagine Nikola Tesla standing beside a weathered farmer in a dusty field. Stakes driven into the soil hum like tuning forks. Copper lines snake through the ground, feeding motors, lights, and generators. Everything, the barn, the tools, the pumps, runs off invisible power pulled straight from the earth. No wires, no smoke, just the whisper of magnetism dancing between sky and soil. The farmer swears it's witchcraft. Tesla just smiles. That vision, power drawn from the planet itself, died with him, or at least that's what the textbook said. Decades later, a discovery proved otherwise. A basement beneath a New York university, a wooden crate sealed since 1943. The label, faded but legible, reads, Tesla Estate, high voltage, do not open researchers gather around. Cameras rolling, gloves on. The lid groans as nails give way. Inside, wrapped in oil-soaked canvas, sits a copper coil taller than a man. Every turn of wire perfectly wound, capped with ceramic insulators. A brass plate glinting in the light. Warden Cliff. No blueprints, no reference in any archive. A ghost from Tesla's final years. They lift it gently onto a rolling table. Someone jokes that it looks like something out of Frankenstein. The lead engineer doesn't laugh. The plan is simple. Connect a spectrum analyzer, run a frequency sweep, log the response curve. Standard diagnostic work. Output power, 10 milliwatts practically nothing. The analyzer hums to life. A digital display ticks upward through frequency bands. Everyone watches the monitors. At first, nothing. Then, something. The coil begins to vibrate. A faint subsonic tremor that shakes dust from the ceiling. A sound rises. Not a hum, not a buzz, but a metallic scream that makes the lights flicker. Then the world erupts. A blinding arc slams through the air. Two million volts of raw electricity snapping to a steel shelf 12 feet away. Metal fuses. Instruments explode. Load. High voltage detectors trip across three floors. Emergency strobes flash crimson. Automatic alarms flood the building. Within seconds, the order hits. Evacuate. Sixty people rush for the exits. Ozone fills the corridors. The floor vibrates as if something beneath is still alive. Power to the building is cut. The breakers slam down one by one. Only then does the noise fade. No one is hurt. But what the coil did should have been impossible. The analyzer input was tiny. A signal so weak it couldn't light an LED. So where did the energy come from? The readings show something unbelievable. The coil surged after power was cut, still drawing current from somewhere unseen. For a moment, the past had powered itself. The engineers argue over possibilities. A shorted ground, faulty probe, data corruption. But the math tells another story. The analyzer sweep wasn't random. It was algorithmic. A. I driven. It scanned millions of frequencies in seconds, seeking the one that made the coil sing, and it found it. Tesla's coil wasn't a static sculpture. It was a high-frequency resonator, one of the last experimental transmitters he ever built. Designed not to power devices, but to link with the Earth itself. When the analyzer's AI swept past 700 kilohertz, it accidentally hit that resonant frequency. And when that happens, energy doesn't just move, it multiplies. Think of a soprano shattering glass. The note matches the glass's resonance perfectly, and every vibration adds more power until the glass explodes. The same principle applies here, but with magnetism, not sound. The AI sang the perfect note. The coil answered back. Energy stacked in microseconds, climbing from milliwatts to megawatts in a chain reaction that no human could have stopped. Tesla could never have done this. His equipment was analog, noisy, unpredictable. Spark gaps and rotary motors could only approximate his dream frequencies. But the modern analyzer, guided by machine learning, can pinpoint resonance down to the hertz. When the two lined up, history met precision. And that's when the air turned electric. The coil screamed, the building groaned, and the evacuation lights pulsed like a heartbeat. This wasn't supernatural. It was a perfect collision. One old machine and one new algorithm performing a duet neither understood. When the surge died, investigators found something even stranger. The coil hadn't just arced through air. It had coupled with the building itself. Every modern structure sits on a vast grounding grid. Metal beams, copper pipes, rebar, water mains, all tied into one massive electrical web buried in concrete. Tesla's original design used the same principle deliberately. He drove a copper rod deep into the ground, using the earth as both conductor and capacitor. When the old coil reawakened, that grounding network became part of its circuit. The surge didn't stop at the workbench. It raced through the foundation. Filing cabinets, HVAC ducts, even the concrete walls, 
all briefly turned into antennas. For a few seconds, the entire basement became part of the machine. And that's what made this different. The analyzer didn't just wake up an antique, it linked it to the planet itself. Afterward, engineers studied the waveform data. They noticed a secondary pulse, weaker, delayed by microseconds, echoing from the ground up, as if the Earth had answered back. That echo terrified them more than the lightning. Because if an 80-year-old device can pull energy from the soil beneath Manhattan, what else from Tesla's lost work might still respond if hit with modern precision? No ghosts, no mysticism, just physics and timing. It's the kind of accident that happens once in a lifetime. A forgotten machine meets a machine that never forgets. And when they shook hands through time, the world remembered what resonance can do. The building reopened two weeks later. The coil sat under a plexiglass dome, deactivated but intact. Security cameras still pointed at it, motion sensors blinking like nervous eyes. Someone taped a handwritten sign to the glass. Do not test. But late at night, janitors swear they can still smell ozone near the crate. And every so often, the instruments flicker, like the coil is humming to itself, waiting for the note that will make it sing again. When the lab reopened, the coil sat in the center of the room like a sleeping animal under glass. The metal table was warped, the air still faintly metallic from the ozone it had birthed. Every scope, sensor, and circuit analyzer was replaced, recalibrated, and checked twice. Nothing was wrong with the equipment, which left one conclusion that chilled the team. The problem wasn't electrical. It was natural. The data looked impossible. Even after the analyzer shut off, the coil's voltage rose for several seconds. Current reversed direction, climbing instead of collapsing. Power had entered from the ground, not the outlet. They hadn't just reactivated a device. They'd tuned the earth. The AI logs revealed how it happened. The program wasn't human. It didn't hesitate, didn't fear, didn't blink when readings spiked. Its job was to find resonance peaks and map their stability curves. It ran 400,000 frequency tests in under a minute, adjusting amplitude and phase automatically. Somewhere around 700 kilohertz, the software labeled the data point optimal efficiency. Continue sweep. That's the instant it hit the note Tesla had hunted for all his life. Tesla's analog spark gaps had been blunt tools. This was a surgical scalpel. The AI held the frequency steady to the microsecond, feeding the coil exactly the signal it needed to wake. The machine didn't care that voltage was doubling every microsecond. It simply measured positive response and stayed locked in place. To the algorithm, it was success. To everyone else, it was a weapon warming up. Electrical inspectors later found melted rebar in the foundation and scorch marks on copper pipes two floors down. The surge had run straight through the building's bones. Modern structures are spider webs of conductivity. Water pipes, electrical conduits, structural steel, all bonded to ground. Tesla's design had relied on that same principle, the planet itself as part of the machine. When resonance hit, every grounded path in that basement joined the dance. For three seconds, the lab didn't just contain the experiment, it was the experiment. A man-made structure and an antique coil pulsing in perfect sympathy with the earth beneath. No one in the building had the clearance or courage to try to reproduce it. The coil was sealed behind polycarbonate, tagged archival hazard, its leads cut short and encased in epoxy. Still, the numbers lived on in servers, and that was enough to get attention. Within weeks, plainclothes consultants began appearing at the university. Defense contractors, aerospace engineers, energy transfer specialists. They didn't say who they worked for, but they asked the same questions. Was it wireless coupling? Could the field be directed? Do you still have the AI sweep logs? They already knew the answer. The data matched early tests from classified directed energy and power beaming research, systems that use microwave resonance to deliver energy at a distance. The difference? Tesla's coil had achieved the same effect with analog copper and the Earth itself as the transmission medium. To the military, that's not nostalgia, that's a roadmap. The event triggered an audit of university archives across the country. It turns out thousands of forgotten electrical prototypes sit in basements and storage vaults. Oscillators, radar tubes, induction coils, each one capable of resonance if driven precisely. Now, imagine AI scanning all of them simultaneously, sweeping through frequencies humans never tested, each scan a potential spark, 
One misstep, one matched harmonic, and another relic could wake just like Tesla's coil. Museums quietly began adding disclaimers to exhibits, not for energization. New lab protocols were drafted. Isolate grounds, use Faraday cages, limit input current to milliamps. Because what the Tesla coil proved is simple and terrifying, the past can still bite back. The deeper the team dug into the AI logs, the stranger it got. The algorithm had detected harmonic reflections milliseconds before the surge, return signals echoing from the ground network below the building. In other words, the coil wasn't just transmitting, something answered. Whether it was an interference pattern, a resonance loop through buried infrastructure, or something else entirely, no one could say. But the data implied the coil momentarily synchronized with a field far larger than the lab. Tesla wrote about this in 1905, his idea of world resonance, an Earth-scale electrical standing wave. To most historians, it was fantasy, yet the waveform from the AI logs mirrored his sketches almost perfectly. For a man a century ahead of his time, maybe this was the confirmation he never got to see. No magic, only precision. Physicists who reviewed the report reached a consensus. There was no new energy source, no violation of conservation. The system had simply achieved near-perfect coupling, the same reason a singer can shatter glass. The difference is that modern AI can find that note instantly. Resonance isn't rare. What's rare is control. And that's what AI gives us, precision that can tip into danger faster than human reaction time. That's the paradox Tesla foresaw. The closer we get to perfect efficiency, the smaller the margin between discovery and disaster. News of the incident never went public. Officially, it was equipment malfunction during archival testing. But insiders know it redefined how experimental energy systems are handled. DARPA accelerated its wireless power program. NASA quietly revisited plans for orbital solar transmitters. Defense contractors began testing microwave drones that could fly indefinitely, charged by invisible beams from the ground. Exactly what Tesla imagined in 1901. Every one of those projects uses resonant coupling, the same physics that made an antique coil scream to life. The irony. The A. I didn't invent anything new. It simply rediscovered Tesla's lost frequency with more accuracy than a human ever could. The human factor. The lead engineer still keeps a photo from that night. Smoke curling from the coil's brass terminal. The word Warden Cliff reflecting in emergency lights. He doesn't talk about the adrenaline or the fear. What he remembers is the moment right before the arc, when the instruments all spiked in unison, a perfect vertical line on the screen. He said it looked alive. For that heartbeat, he believed Tesla's dream had finally worked, power drawn from the air itself. Then came the flash, the heat, the alarms. He laughs about it now, but not comfortably. We didn't just wake a machine, he says. We woke an idea. Every lab that studies high-frequency fields knows the new rule. Treat every antique coil as a potential receiver. Disconnect grounds, shield rooms, keep input power limited. Because somewhere in the walls, the earth, or the air, a frequency still waits to answer. The event proved Tesla wasn't chasing myth. He was chasing precision. And it took a modern algorithm to prove he was right. Old technology, new tools, same danger. So, what really happened that night? No one can fully agree. Some say it was a resonance accident amplified by the building's grounding grid. Others believe the coil tapped into the same earth current Tesla once described. Either way, it showed the world something extraordinary. An 80-year-old invention can still outsmart the present when we're careless with the past. The coil sleeps now, sealed, silent, but the logs remain. And deep beneath the city, the ground still holds its frequency, waiting for the next curious machine to find it because resonance never dies. It only waits to be heard again.